So we're back at Tom Hardy Bassoon Reads today and we're going to be looking at how we get one of these tubes to be one of these, a finished bassoon read. And we're going to be going through each stage to help you with any tips and advice and hard-won experience um, to help you make reads. The first thing we're going to look at is tube cane. This is something you're going to be able to buy from many, many different plantations. And just like a good wine, they come from many different plantations in the south of France, north of Spain, California, Australia, China. But as it's an organic material, some of it's better than others, some years are better than others. And that's one of our main problems as a reed maker, is guessing if this tube is going to make a good read. So my first tool I'm going to show you is from a stationery shop. It's just used for drawing circles if you're doing geometry, but it very conveniently has different diameters on it. So for the bassoon reed, we're looking at the size of 24 or 25 millimeters for the diameter of the tube. When we get into sort of 27, 28, it's too big. If we want to make a contra reed, we're looking more at 30 for most people, or in those upper 20s. And then all the little ones, if I was an oboist, I'd be interested in those. So for me, I've got four tubes here. I'm just going to look at, are they 24, 25? That goes straight through the 25. I'm going to use that one. So does that. Yes, this will, that's just about 25. It's going to get more on the 26, but that still goes through. That's fine. Here's another 26. Good. So there's nothing that I'm going to throw out there. 25, 26 is on the wide side. Um, when it gets down to 23, it's going to make it something which is slightly too tight. The reed's going to be too arched. And when it gets to 26, 27, you're going to have a reed which is very flat and won't hold its circle, which could be nice for a second bassoon reed. But on average, experience has taught us that that's what we want. 24, 25, 25, 26 at the most. So I've chosen five tubes here. Now we're going to split them. There's many different ways to split them. I've got a splitter which splits them into four, which does most of the work for me. But you could just do it, as you'll see on many YouTube videos, you can just do it with a knife and you can mark up the tube. As I do quite a high volume, I like my rubber hammer. So that's a split tube. Now I, I do try to, to look if the tube is not quite round or if it's just a little bit odd shape I do try to, to work out well can I get four sections out of this because sometimes if you just split it randomly you will get some sections which are too thin for a bassoon reed but on the whole the volume I'm doing I'm not taking that much care time is more my commodity than worrying if I'm getting another reed out of one piece of cane because at this stage this is not expensive it becomes expensive the more time you spent on it or the more you've paid someone else to do all those stages